Hey, how's it going? Welcome back to another Shark and Sharker video. This is me, Cranberry. Hopefully you're doing well. If you are unfamiliar with how this series works, basically we go into the dungeon, we try to make some money. When we leave, we take all of the items that we found and we sell them. And at the end, we see how much money we made. That's how it goes. Uh, today I am playing Slayer Fighter. I've been not having very much luck with Rogue after this wipe. Uh, if you didn't know, there's been some pretty sweeping changes to how gear works, which I think is a good thing. But I think that a couple characters who uh, were relying on some of those gear stats are now kind of really bad, and Rogue is one of those. Uh, so they're a little tough to play right now, so we're opting for Slayer Fighter instead. A uh, quick peek at the uh, build here, nothing too crazy going on. I'm opting for a Viking Sword just because I had a pretty nice one sitting in the stash. Nothing's too crazy here, though. All the gear is pretty basic. Nothing, nothing wild. All just kind of generic stuff that I just had lying around. I, I, actually, I'm going to pop on a pair of riveted gloves here, I think, instead of these... Uh, Rawhide gloves. But yeah, not too shabby, not too shabby overall. And uh, yeah, it should be pretty good and cool. So let's go to the High Roller uh, Goblin Caves and hopefully not die. Now, I'm not saying we can't fight here, but our goal is probably going to be to be pretty passive if we can help it. Because again, we're not rocking the most amazing gear of all time. I'm looking around. See, and most people also not very impressive when it comes to their gear right now. Hello there, Mr. Barbarian. How are you? No, 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 no. You'll you'll do fine. If you're just good at dodging the goblin attacks, you should be fine. Hopefully people don't usually get in fights, at least not from what I see. Yeah. Yeah, everyone here is pretty low gear. It looks like I think we'll all be willing to be friends in there. I'm a yeah, naked we, bro. We you can have my pants. You want, you want my pants, bro? Mm. Anyway, yeah, everyone in this lobby, extremely low gear. We're all a bunch of little naked babies here, so we're probably going to do our best to... I mean, I, I feel like we're maybe the most geared person in this lobby right now, which is kind of strange. We'll see, but I, I'm willing to not be super aggressive here. Just get some loot and get out, because my, my stash not looking the healthiest right now. And we got a pretty good spawn here as well, so hopefully this will be fine. Goblin, come on over here, buddy. Now, the, the Viking Sword is a little bit of a weird one. It's got a lot of wind-up to that very first swing. But overall, it's not too bad. It's got decent range and does pretty good DPS, so... Pretty comparable to an Arming Sword. Same movement speed as well. Arming Sword, I think, has a little bit more reach, though, on the swings. Not 100% certain about that, though, but... It should, it should do us well here. Now, we don't have much time. The zone is... Not being very kind to us this run, so we should be pretty quick about looting this here. I'm gonna try to, if I can, oh, get this. Oh, come on, come back. Shouldn't be wasting time here if I can help it. The three, it's a three shot to the head here for the bullet zomb or goblins. Good to know. You got a, I think a mummy out of the ground here too, yeah. Now if you're unfamiliar with Slayer as a build concept, basically the way this works is you can't wear heavy armor, but if you were dual wielding as well, you get a, a damage bonus. So that's why we have this lantern in our offhand. It counts as a weapon, and it gives us a pretty nice damage bonus here. I'll take that hat. I will definitely take this long sword and this morning star here. That's something that I didn't mention at the start of this video. Um, with the new wipe, the economy has had a pretty big shakeup. I honestly don't know what items are worth right now. So it's going to be a little tricky to tell. Um, we'll see. I don't know. None of those are very valuable. Let's keep on moving. Yeah, it's hard to say how valuable a lot of these items are going to be. And as, as, as easy it would be to maybe just only pick up collectibles, I want to understand what they're worth. So we'll be picking up more items to get to get a, 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 a read on that. Oh, four headshots for the, uh, the non-fragile the non goblin here. The archer there. 
He didn't know, by the way. Archers. Hold on. Archers and sword goblins have more health than the bolus goblins and the. Uh, the bolus goblins and the axe goblins. They have less health. This one will take. Well. Maybe two headshots and a body shot there. Oh. This fucker came in out of nowhere. Honestly, pop second wind here. Ooh. Okay, it's fine. You know what? A little panic there, not gonna lie, but ultimately. Oh, come on. You gotta be kidding me. Not terrible. Okay. Take a second here. Let's put down a campfire. And get our second win back. That was a little sloppy. But it was a lot of goblins. So I don't think we handled it too poorly. Now this campfire should just be barely enough to get our second win back. I think gray campfires, if I remember, if I remember correctly... Gray campfires can give second wind back if someone else puts them down for you and you are already sitting ahead of time. Every other campfire, you can place yourself to give back second wind. So, fun little fact for you there. Okay. Probably not worth the damage here, but I'm a little greedy. Let's see what this chest has got for us here. Oh, you know what? Actually very much worth. Pop this. I don't know if the actual stats on it are useful, but who knows? Okay. Oop. Now we got a nightmare goblin archer here. Nightmare goblin archers every now and then will do a triple shot, like so. It's not very telegraphed, but. The animation looks a little bit different when he pulls back the bow. It's not impossible to tell it's coming. Hello? Let's navigate around this goblin here. Hello? Should probably head this way for zone. Maybe we can find this guy and be friendly. Uh oh. He may have just kind of killed him. Hello there? Hello, I'm having a hard time. The new guy died trying to protect Here, here, come on up. I'll, I'll help you out. I'll help you out. Come here. Hello. Right. How are you doing, sir? I'm doing fine. The new guy, the new guy tried to give me a hand crossbow and then tried to help me out, and then the blue archer goblin just unloaded three arrows straight into him and he died instantly. It was, it was sad to watch. It is unfortunate. This guy seems very friendly. I think we can trust him. We'll definitely take that. Take the heater too, honestly. It's not terrible. And the Francesca's we'll take for ourselves here for sure. Could offer him some meds, but I don't think I will. <laughs> They'll be keeping these for myself here. Ooh, and that is a really weird Viking helmet. Um, hey, you want a purple Viking helmet? I yeah, I'm, I'm kind of full up. There's one in the right box. Hello there, other person. Hi, how's it going? Okay. He could have fucking ended me there, I'm pretty sure. Luckily, he didn't. Okay, we gotta start getting out of here. We don't have much time. And 
Sounds like a lot of people are still alive. I think everyone should be able to get out. There are there are enough extracts for everyone, but you know. That's if you can find them all, right? Is there seven? I believe there's there's six portals that show up throughout it, and then there's the static uh, exit. He actually saved my life there. Little potion out. Let's see. Oh, the spiders are still here. Hold on. Well, I, I spawned in the room that has the, the static extract, so it's not fully cleared out, but there's quite a bit of quite a bit of mobs already killed there, so it shouldn't be too hard to make it that way. Friend, I am going to take this portal here. I wish you the best of luck. Have a good one. The guarantee's in the in the top right corner, in the bottom left corner of the room. Be careful about the uh, the mummy. Good luck. Okay. Ooh, this guy's almost dead. I do want to spectate Mr. Narwhal here to see if he makes it out. I'm genuinely curious. Also, interesting that he opts for no sprint here. Cause he he should he should go. Oh. Eh. This this guy. He gets triple shot here. He's he's boned. Oh, never mind. Okay, he actually is not boned. I thought I thought maybe the triple shot would hit between the the shield recovery. It does not. Man, champion goblin here. Uh oh, what the heck happened to Narwhal? Well, good luck to him. Mister Mister Snootier here has an extract, so we don't have to worry about him getting killed. You have to worry about Mr. Narwhal uh, having this uh, portal appear upstairs, not downstairs. It appeared downstairs. Oh no. Oh, he should have gone then. Oh well. I think I think it's over for him. Oh man. I don't think he can do this. Yeah, it's fucking. It's unbelievably over. An upside down bug. Yeah. Rest in peace. Tragic. Better him than me though. <laughs> okay, let's go. Let's go sell our shit now. Let's get our collectibles out of here real quick. We got this. Oh man, purple longsword's really interesting. I have no idea what that's going for right now. I didn't even look at this blue quarter staff we had too. I forgot about that. I, I have a sneaking suspicion that most of this gear will end up either vendoring or just keeping for myself. Just because it's probably not worth a ton of money. But no matter what happens here, we broke even on the, the cost of getting in here. 87 gold, right? Uh, and then also just the little the gold we had in our in our stash too. We also have 14 silver, so let's convert that. Right? So far, not too bad. And then let me pull up the timer and we'll try to sell the rest of this junk. Uh, this will hang on to probably. And I'm just going to say right now, we'll probably hang on to the falchion as well. I don't see much reason to try to sell that. It's not worth much. I'd rather keep it rather. I'd rather keep it than vendor it basically. So I'm going to keep in mind there. It's not a terrible morning star. Not amazing, but not bad. And the heater shield's not too bad either. It's green, but it's good. Oh, I just realized this, oh, this long is actually sick. Plus four health and plus five percent physical damage bonus are pretty good rolls. Not like best in slot rolls, but pretty good. So I like our longsword here as well. Uh, the kettle hat, not terrible for a cleric either. And oh my man, quarter staffs actually really good too. The problem is that no, no one likes quarter staffs, so it'll be hard to sell. We'll see what we can do with it. But uh, let me let me pull up live split here, and we will get to selling. Hold on. Taking a while to open up. There we go. Okay. Ready and three, two, one, go. Now, 
What do we sell first? What do we sell first here? I think we go with the long sword first because it's the one that I'm most uh, unsure of on the price right now. And I'm, and I, oh, what am I doing? I might just first just put out a generic offer and see what people offer me for it. And we can swing by the warlocks as well. It wouldn't hurt. Again, I mean, like, warlocks don't care that much about their melee weapons. They usually care more about buffing up their casting stats. Ooh. Hi. Did you do 200 by chance? You know what? Sure. Again, we're early in the white. Prices are... are Hard to, hard to assess exactly. I'll take 200 gold for the sword. It's gonna be tricky to sell anyway, so I don't mind. Heater shield. Oh, we can go to the clerics and try to sell the heater shield too, actually. I forgot about that as well. So let's go... Put a 75 gold last call on this kettle helm. And then if we... I mean, oh, there we go. Okay, nice. Seventy-five. Fifty is less than seventy-five. Nah. Okay. Here's the thing, too. We can just hang on to it. As more money gets into the system, prices of items will go up, too. So we don't have to sell it today. It's not the end of the world. I'd much rather hold on to this than sell it for, like, a quarter of what I think it's actually will be worth in a couple of weeks. So... And the, the, I mean, we could try selling the quarter staff real quick. I doubt it'll sell. I think best bet is our barbarian here. 50 G for the. Are people farming trolls with a Zweihander right now? What do you mean for the troll farmers? What the heck? That's so weird. Is that like a thing? I don't know. Whatever. Anyway, shit ain't selling today. No biggie. Not the end of the world. Well, we had like some gear upgrades we picked up in, in there, right? Ah, this this isn't going to sell either. Yeah, this shit's not going to sell. Never mind. Okay. We'll wrap it up here. Didn't sell much, unfortunately, but as to be expected. As to be expected with prices right now, shit is not worth very much at all. And a lot of this gear, maybe not the quarter set, but like the Morningstar, for example. Like I said, I don't mind just popping Weapon Mastery on and using this instead for like a budget run. Right? If it's, if it's, if it's not selling for 50 gold, it's not worth vendoring. I'd rather just use it instead for for who knows what it'll be but anyway thanks for watching i'll see you next time goodbye